Okay, so I am filming this video. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible because I just tried to film this video on my camera. It's fully charged and it keeps turning off. So I don't know what it's trying to tell me. Probably I'm not supposed to be filming this video, but I feel the need that I have to. After this video, I probably won't ever talk about it because I don't wanna keep feeding into it, whatever it is. I don't want it to get more attached to me or, or whatever the case is. And I'm sorry about the noise. Um, I'm filming this on my iPhone because my camera keeps shutting off. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Daisy Marquez. If you have been subscribed to me, you can tell that the background has changed. My bedroom used to be this room and now it's my filming room, but I'm, now I'm moving out of this apartment. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off from the very beginning. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you're probably lost, but the other night I had a very horrifying paranormal experience that I never had experienced before and it scarred me because I didn't really believe in it. I am such like a horror movie person, anything scary, I'm all about scary movies. October, I thrive in October, like nothing really scares me. I can watch a, a scary movie at night and go to sleep peacefully. So the fact that I'm having to sit down and talk about this must really say something and all of my friends know that I don't get scared easily. All right, so we're gonna start off from March 2018 when I moved in. Um, I moved in by myself. I've been living in LA for three years. I've always been independent. I've always lived by myself. I recently just moved here. I used to live in Whittier. I've never had any issues in the old apartment. Um, have I had sleep paralysis? Yes, but a lot of people experience that. What I experienced in this apartment was paranormal and not normal. Everything I'm saying is truly like coming from me and being honest. I am trying to genuinely just talk to the internet and tell you guys what I'm going through because this is not okay and it's not normal and I'm terrified for my life. I don't feel comfortable being here. I couldn't even sleep here last night. I haven't been sleeping here. I literally just came here to film this video and I want to leave as soon as I'm done. I don't want to be here. <sighs> okay. So in March, I moved in. Everything was perfectly normal. I would hear noises like here and there but I would automatically assume that it was the neighbors upstairs. Also, have this in mind. My apartment is in the very corner. I don't have any neighbors. So let's say like once you exit the elevator, you to the left, there's a lot of apartments and then to over here, that's where the emergency exit is at. So there's only one apartment right there. Not a lot of people like to live in the corner where like the stairs are at because people assume that there's going to be noise, but I hardly ever hear noise because a lot of people don't like to take flights all the way up to the 13th floor, correct? So I started hearing like tapping noises at first, like, like it kind of sounded like knocking, but like tapping, I would hear footsteps. I'm like, oh, it's the neighbors. All the noises I would instantly be like, it's the neighbors. Like I, I'm not scary. I, I don't get paranoid that easily. So I was like, ah, whatever. Like didn't really pay much attention to it. And they would like come and go at night, but then it started becoming an issue once my friends started noticing it. Um, Shelby and Tina would come over and one time me and Tina left and Shelby stayed here by herself and when we came back Shelby was so scared and she was like I kept hearing voices I kept hearing this this and that here's the thing I didn't tell them that I would hear noises they would hear them themselves and they would tell me and I wouldn't really tell them what I would hear because I didn't want to scare them because I still wanted my friends to come and visit me um, I would hear voices outside of my door and I would assume that it was people outside of my door, but when I would go check, there would be no one there. So I'm like, maybe they went out through the stairs, but then the stairs make a lot of noises. So I'm like, I didn't hear any noise. So I just, I would just keep everything to myself. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna be positive, right? It started getting worse as the months progressed. And then we come up to this one night. Um, it was actually broad daylight. I was in broad daylight editing a video, I was drinking some coffee, it was like 12, one in the afternoon, and I just hear my door unlock and open, the very front door. And I instantly like froze and I was like, oh my God, someone's breaking in. So my dumbass, I was like, hello? No one answered and I was like, what the fuck? So I'm like, maybe it was the wind that blew it open, but like whenever the wind blows my door open, it usually like swings in and like scares the shit out of me. The door went, and just opened up a little bit like this is the door and it's it's closed correct like usually if the wind blows it open it'll be like Phew! but no this time it was like and it opened up a little bit 
and so I froze and once I grabbed the door it was just like still and once I grabbed the door and I let it go it closed so I was like wait I was like how is the door staying still if the wind would have at least pushed it a little bit open and if it would have like opened by accident it would have closed right back but it didn't close I'm about to show you guys what I mean so this is my door right literally what I heard was like this and look at this exactly it goes back and when the wind is super strong it usually opens it like this and then it closes right back up but no bitch when i came over here the door was just still like this like this and it won't stay still whatever i do like you have to have like a shoe or something to keep it like that so i instantly freaked the fuck out so after that whole like door experience i was really terrified and i instantly called my mom and told her what happened she's like no you're like over exaggerating like you're overthinking it she's like it was the wind and i was like maybe i was like you know what i was like i am overthinking i was like it is the wind so i was like whatever after that i did keep my guard up a little bit more and then like weird ass things started happening in my apartment building okay have this in mind my apartment building is right in front of a mortuary if you're not aware what a mortuary is please search it up i really don't want to talk about it and um recently an accident happened in my apartment building where a guy drove off of the third floor from the garage so there's one floor two floor three floor he drove off the brick wall onto the street where the pedestrians are at i'm about to post a picture right here this is what i mean what scared me was that his car landed a little bit away from the mortuary the guy survived um i thought he didn't survive because i saw his body on the floor with blood and they put the sheets over him so I instantly freaked out thinking I just saw a dead body. Thank God he survived. But here's the scary part. In the article, he said that he that his gas, like the gas pedal, it wasn't working and it just started going on itself. It sounds like an accident that happens a lot, but it's just really weird that it happened at my place. And a lot of people thought he was committing suicide. Some people say no. Like there's been a lot of like, you know, theories as to what happened and why the guy did what he did. It's just scary to think that something else took control of the car and made him drive off. You know, that's just creepy. I was literally here with my friend and we thought there was an earthquake because the whole building shook, but it was the car that flew out. So after that, I started getting a little bit more spooked and that's when the noises started getting more intense. I started hearing like louder footsteps and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, my neighbors are so loud, right? So I called the leasing office to complain to say that, you know, like, they're either having like a lot of people up there. I was like, I keep hearing footsteps upstairs. So, I, so the leasing office, they're like, there's currently no one living above you. Excuse me? Right when she said that, I got the chills and I was like, holy shit. No one has been living above me this whole time. This whole time I thought I had neighbors upstairs. This whole time I, I was blaming the noises on them. So right after that, I was like, holy shit these noises are real these noises are happening in my apartment like what is going on so after that i started getting really scared and i started telling my friends like the the noises and the things that i would hear and then they would hear stuff right this is where i started getting really weird i would wake up and i would like have my door closed but when i would wake up it would be open so i started noticing like random cabinets being open that i had closed like lights being on that i had like turned off and i was just like what the fuck like it was so weird so one night my friend came over and we wanted to go to vegas so we went to vegas right before we left i was like let me make sure that everything is closed turned off like whatever right so i noticed that the door from my bedroom was open because we had gotten hot and i was like oh shit i was like almost left the door open so i closed it and we're about to walk out and I noticed that a candle was on and I was like, oh, I was like, I almost left my candle on. I was like, imagine I was like, my house would have burned down. Like me and my friend were kind of making a joke out of it. So I blew, I blew the candle, whatever. We left to Vegas for one night. We come back and it was cold. And I was like, why is it cold? I'm like, I didn't leave the AC on. Like I made sure to turn it off. I checked my bedroom and the same door was open. When I saw that, I didn't want to tell my friend right away because I'm like, fuck, she's like a scary cat. I'm like, I don't want to scare her. But I was like, Grace, I was like, didn't I close this door? Oh my God, bitch, I'm fucking scared. You see how you can hear everything so vividly here? Like, that sounds like people's voices. The voices that I would hear would be like, like if it was like little people like, like secreting something, you know, like it's just weird. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. So then like, 
we were kind of like, ah, ha, ha, like joking out about it, like kind of trying to make light of the situation because we both like did get scared that the door was open, but we both didn't want to show that we were scared. So I come back to the kitchen. We're just like talking, chilling, like five minutes pass by. And then I notice that the candle was on the whole night because the wax was all the way at the bottom. So I'm like, the candle was on this entire time. I turned it off and we both clearly remember turning it off because we make a joke out of it. We made a joke out of it. Like we were both like, oh my God, imagine the house would have burned down. Like we remembered. As I was saying, so after that whole like Vegas thing, whatever, with my friend, um, weird things started happening in my apartment. Also have this in mind, not a lot of apartment buildings have a 13th floor or even a 13th elevator floor. Like a lot of places don't because of the superstition. I never really thought about it, but I live on the 13th floor in a corner apartment in front of a mortuary. So that's when like I started overthinking everything, kind of putting two and two together. And I'm like, okay, there's something really off about this place. And I feel like once I became more aware, that's when paranormal things started happening to me. So now we're caught up to today. So I slept in the other room two nights ago. The first night I heard and it sounded like water dropping, like droplets, but like really loud and intense. And I was like, okay, maybe it's the faucet, but I was like too paranoid to get up. Have some mind, the other room is so long that it, like the restroom is over here and my bedroom's over here. So I would have to walk and then there's like a little hallway to go to the restroom. And like at night, it's scary. And I wasn't used to sleeping in that room. I always had that door locked, like from that room. I don't know why. That room always like kind of gave me a weird vibe. I never really went in there. Like that's why I kind of turned into like a storage room instead of like my makeup room because I just got a weird vibe from that room that I didn't want to like be in there like at all so i don't know why i thought that it was gonna be a good idea to move my bedroom over there so the first night i heard those noises and i was like whatever it's the faucet i'll wake up the next day and i'll check it so the next day it was already nighttime. like my sister had just left she helped me build the shelves and everything i was so busy i've been so busy just remodeling and so excited to just like get my makeup room up and like just show you guys everything i was like i'm filming the whole process and everything right and so it's nighttime, I'm so tired, I worked out and I was drained, right? So since I had been up in the very morning, worked out, built furniture, like I was up and out, like I was tired. So I went to bed like at like 12, one-ish. So I was dead asleep and I'm a very heavy sleeper. <sighs> okay, can't believe I'm about to say this story because this story scares me because I I've said it so many times to my friends and family to try to explain it to them and they don't really get it until I, I, I say it like in person because I tweeted it and like I don't think people really understood like how dramatic this this experience was. I'm in bed. I'm already asleep. I wake up to someone blowing air in my face. I wake up to someone and I just remember I wake up and I literally felt the hairs that were on my face. I mean, I sleep crazy. I had hairs on my face. I felt them blow away. So I wake up and I don't know, in my mind, I was like, oh my God, someone's pranking me. But I wake up, it's like 2.30 something in the morning and I see no one there and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, wait, I'm fully awake. I'm not dreaming. I'm like, did this really just happen to me? Like I felt it, I felt a presence there. Like I literally expected me to open my eyes and see like my friend or someone right in front of me because it felt so real. So once I realized that I was alone at two something in the morning, I was like, holy shit like i instantly freaked out i started like panicking i'm like daisy don't overthink it i started praying i started praying and i found it really weird that i did a really long prayer before going to bed that night and that i experienced something paranormal so as i'm turning around about to reach for my phone because i'm freaking out I'm like let me play music i'm turning around I have this in mind it's completely silent like i'm nowhere near the the, the lower like i'm on the 13th floor my apartment's completely silent i don't have any neighbors leaving living upstairs all i hear is it is it is right when i heard that you guys i instantly got the chills my eyes opened up so big and i started my eyes tears just started coming out of my eyes without me even like making any noise i was like and that's when it hit me. I was like, holy shit. 
I just heard someone and it sounds like a little boy's voice and the reason why I put my hands like this is because it sounded like if it, if you just say it is it is you hear more of like a it is like the the noise kind of like going around the hands that's exactly what I envisioned and where I like heard it was kind of by the door of the restroom so I was like holy shit am I being haunted right now and I instantly called my mom crying she didn't it was like four in the morning over there she's like you're freaking out you're over exaggerating my blah blah and i'm like no mom like i'm serious like why would i be calling you at this time disturbing your peace to tell you that i someone just blew in my face and i heard someone tell me it is and i which could just confuse me is that like it, it is what like it like what it is what and so i started playing music i started bitch i started playing happy music i was playing ariana grande and i was trying not not to overthink it so it was already like 3 a.m. and I was like, fuck, like a bitch. I know about all that witching hour and all that shit. So I was like, fuck, like I want to be asleep right now, but I'm scared to go to sleep. So I just had the music on full blast and like my eyes were closing literally. And I was like, and then I would hear a noise. As soon as I was about to close my eyes, I would hear a noise. And I was like, <gasps> I was like, okay, whatever the fuck is in here is in here right now. I was too scared to get out of bed. I was like, oh my God, someone's going to grab me from the bottom. I am a Libra. I overthink everything. So I started overthinking the fuck out of the situation. So right after that happened, I tried calling my friends. Obviously, they're all asleep. Like, Tina's in New York. Everybody has different time zones. The friends that I have here, they were knocked out. So I was like, crap, I have no one to talk to. Obviously, like, I ran to Twitter and I started talking to Twitter. I was like, okay, at least someone's talking to me. It, it gave me some kind of comfort. And then I saw that Nas was awake. Nas used to be my next door neighbor. And I asked her, I was like, did you experience anything? She's like, no, like, that's really weird. Blah, blah. And I'm like, oh my God, like, why am I the only one experiencing these things? So like, once I put it public on Twitter, it kind of went viral and everybody was like talking about it, like telling me these things. And then that's when you guys went ahead and did your research. And when my flowers told me that someone had died in my building. Right when I read that, I was like, it can't be real. But then she linked the article and I read the article and I instantly was terrified. Some guy had committed suicide in my apartment building. He shot himself in the head. And right when I found out, I was like, fuck no. I, the first thing I'm doing tomorrow morning is I'm going to the leasing office. And I'm asking them, is there any history? What the fuck happened in this apartment building? Why the fuck didn't you guys tell me? So I go into the leasing office. And I like go up, I see the girl and I felt, oh, you feel comfortable talking to a girl instead of a guy. So I was like, I felt comfortable going in there. And I was like, hey, I was like, I know this might sound crazy. I was like, but I've been experiencing like paranormal things happening in my apartment. And she kind of started chuckling and I instantly got mad because I'm like, bitch, I feel stupid as fuck coming to the leasing office talking about some paranormal shit. And you're over here laughing like this is serious. The fact that I'm coming to you and I'm telling you that I'm scared and that this shit's happening to me is not okay. So I asked her, I was like, is there any history here? And she was like, um, no, she's like, not in your apartment. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, she was kind of like iffy about it. She's like, but if it makes you feel better, like your lease ends in March. She's like, so you can move to a different unit. She wasn't like really interested. She was like, all right, like whatever. I was like, she probably thinks that I'm just like fucking stupid or something, right? So I went back to my apartment. I'm like, okay, so maybe like the person committed suicide, but like somewhere not around me, that's probably what she meant. But then, um, have some, this is the next day after, like, I got haunted, right? I'm, like, a tweeting about, like, more about the situation, about what happened. I tweeted about, like, how I found out that someone, like, I was keeping you guys updated on Twitter with everything that I was finding out. You guys know I'm Reezy. Um, she actually used to live in my apartment building. Um, she messaged me, and she told me, she's like, hey, I'm not sure if you're aware, but somebody committed suicide on your floor. I'm like, on my floor? I'm like, what do you mean on my floor? I'm over here thinking that he committed suicide like somewhere not near me and she's like no it was on the 13th floor on the 13th floor I'm like bitch what like what if that's the energy that 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 has like been lingering on me like if somebody dies where you're living now like their spirit is gonna linger especially if they didn't leave peacefully so everybody was giving me all this advice like light a candle do this and that and then more people started finding out where I lived. I really don't care where people know that I live right now because I'm moving, literally. In a couple days, I'm moving from here. Some girl tweeted me this. And after reading that, I was like, this is not okay. And then I got this other tweet. 
and many more tweets of people saying like i had my friend live there this happened to this person i had my mom blah, 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 blah. so i was hearing all these freaking stories and i'm like what like i'm on the 13th floor i live in front of a mortuary a guy committed suicide a guy just drove off his thing because he didn't have control of his pedal of this paranormal shit happened to me i'm like something is not adding up so it, everybody was telling me to get the fuck out and i was like you know what like i don't want to be scared of my own home so i was like i don't give a fuck like at first i was very scared but i was like you know what i was like i got this like god's on my side i was like man whatever so i was like i was like you know what like i shouldn't i shouldn't have anything to worry about i was praying and i grabbed the holy water and i blessed my whole apartment and i was like fuck i forgot to take polaroid pictures before and I after the holy water because I wanted to see like if I would catch anything right so I'm like whatever like I'll just take them after like I bless my house I doubt I'm gonna find anything like I doubt that I'm gonna catch anything because I just blessed my house with holy water I've been praying I've been doing everything right <sighs> once I took these pictures you guys I believe in this shit if there's a god there's a devil right i have all these pictures right here that i took of my apartment and i made sure to take pictures of everything right um so i took one two three oh my god oh my god Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Shut the fuck up right now. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I cannot believe this is happening to me on camera. These pictures that I took last night, two of them came out with a little like orb thing. You won't really be. Let me. Here's the picture and here's the other picture. Two pictures, the, all these came out normal. Out of all the pictures, this one came out with this little light and this one came out with this light, right? I took a picture of them because I was gonna send it to my friend. Oh my God, I do not even wanna look at them. I don't even wanna look at them. When we zoomed into the picture, this is what we saw. This is what I saw. As soon as I saw this picture, you can see it right here. You can't, it looks like a fucking face. Like if you look at it up close, you see the face. You see the face right here. On picture, like when I took the picture and I zoomed in, it's more clear. You can see it, right? So once I saw, like I'm like over here like laughing with my friend and I'm like, oh yeah, like, uh, and then it's developing and I look over and I see that. You guys, I freaked out i started jumping i started crying i grabbed all of my shit and me and her left right away she lives in riverside which is two hours away so i'm like hey like just drop me off at my friend's house like i'll sleep the night there so as soon as i get dropped off at my friend's house i'm like showing the picture i'm like oh my god like look like i'm not freaking crazy blah 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 and then i show star which is my friend's mom the pictures and she's like, oh my God, I'm like, let's go. She was like, let's go show Bari, which is the other person living in that house. And I was like, oh my God, yes. So then I went over and I was telling him the story and she brings the bag with like all the pictures, like my purse with all the pictures in it. And so I like get out the pictures and I'm like, okay, here's the first one. And I'm like looking through them. I'm like, wait, I was like, where's the other one with the face on it? And she was like, it should be there. She's like, I just picked up your bag and like, I, I, I brought it. And I'm like, well, what the fuck i'm like i put all the pictures back in my bag i'm like it, it, this picture wasn't there so in my mind i'm like fuck like whatever this thing is like what if it fucking followed me it's playing mind tricks on me i'm like i just had this picture there is no way we could have lost this fucking picture we flipped all the rooms upside down and i was like fuck i'm like you guys see like i'm not crazy like you guys are seeing this like i'm not crazy so they believe me even more so i spent the night and you know the mom was like you know we'll just check in the morning like again whatever cool checked it wasn't there bitch this picture just popped up right here it was in the stack of pictures but it wasn't we looked through the stack of pictures last night so many times trying to find it because bari i was like yo like i was like the picture is here i'm like the pic i promise you the picture is here i'm like i'm not crazy i'm like they saw it he didn't even believe like star the mom and i'm like yo she's a fucking mom why would she lie to you i'm like she saw the picture i'm like it's here and then i showed him the picture that i took on the phone i'm like fuck i'm like i was already planning on filming this video i was like i need that picture for the video i'm like people are not going to believe me and then it just pops out of nowhere 
like what like it's only like seven pictures like how i wouldn't have missed the picture of my friend going like this and the most crazy part about the picture this is the very this is the very first picture that i took i was just like just cheese i'll just pose for fun and this is the picture that came out with the fucking face on it bitch what i my anxiety is through the roof right now because i just remembered what one of you guys had found uh, on on my um on my snapchat <sighs> i'm trying to, i'm literally feel like i'm about to have an anxiety attack um so one of the days that i was snapchatting you guys updating you guys um with uh like my room or whatever i was like snapchatting me remodeling my room one of you guys pointed out that um that you guys saw a footprint on the floor and when i i didn't see that first until somebody did it in slow motion i saw it, like, my carpet you when somebody steps on it, it leaves an imprint and you see like a little boy's thing i don't even want to keep talking about it. i'm just going to play the video i'm sorry i interrupted the video with me editing just watch it if if, if that if that doesn't convince you then i don't know what's going to convince you that there's something in here i'm gonna have a carpet right there with the desk i'm gonna have my like my designer purses and all that great stuff i'm gonna have a carpet right there with the desk i'm gonna have my i'm starting to believe this shit i'm sorry i'm like paranoid right now i'm starting to believe this shit like i don't want to believe it. i'm trying to be positive but it's like once you're experiencing it it's completely different like it's it's not it's not the shit you see out of the movie so i'm like freaking out right now how is it that after i bless my house i see this shit and then i go to my friend's house and then i have weird shit happen like this is just you guys, I'm not crazy. Like, seriously, like I'm sitting in front of a chair talking about like ghost shit. Like, this is, this is crazy. Like, this is so not me. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm gonna move, and I hope that it stops. I hope that what I did to the house helped it. I'm still gonna get a priest to come and bless the house and bless me. So I make sure I don't leave with any bad spirits or anything. Oh my god, people keep fucking scaring me anyways that that is my paranormal experience i am still freaking out i am literally leaving my apartment right now i'm sweating so bad and i just feel like i'm not supposed to be sitting in this room and filming i will keep you guys updated on twitter i don't know what is gonna happen afterwards i'm gonna have to pack my shit and leave and it sucks it sucks because i'm so comfortable living here i love living here all the like all the negative stuff like i love my view i got used to this apartment like a lot of ups and downs happen in this apartment and it's like i made so many memories here with my friends and everything and it sucks that i have to move because i feel like there's a fucking entity here <sighs> i don't know this whole thing has mentally drained me my anxiety has been through the roof i haven't been getting any sleep i haven't had any motivation to even sit down and film a video i I don't feel comfortable right now sitting down in this room and filming a video like I, I I don't I don't know I don't know I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter to see what happens um you guys let me know your experiences down below if you guys have any recommendations of anything that can help me I've prayed I my house is getting sage today I blessed it with holy water I have holy water like I don't know what else I can do besides move like I'm already moving and so it's like in the meantime what do i do like just stay at my friend's house like like fuck like all my work is here like everything's here like i i'm tired of running away and i'm just like stuck i'm stuck and i'm mentally and physically exhausted and i'm just <sighs> it's so stressful like bitch what like this is my life right now like what i don't know but um that is it for this video i'm quickly going to edit this have it up and leave as soon as i can thank you guys so much for watching and it feels good that i let this out of my system but i just i'm done i'm done with this whole situation and i hope whatever it is it stops i will keep you guys updated on my snapchat and on my twitter you guys can follow me on there to see what ends up happening but um I don't know when I'll be posting again on YouTube because I will be moving from here and I will be taking all my shit and I'm leaving. So I don't know when I will have my place set up and anything, but I'll, I'll, you know what? It's gonna be like a new apartment tour and everything. And I need to stop filming this video because I'm terrified. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and bye-bye.